This is going to be your guide for progressing to the snow biome in LEGO Fortnite. Unfortunately, I made an oopsie that set me back, and if you watched my flying machine video, we are going to fix that. Also, let's be on the flying machine when we make a balloon. So yeah, I actually went out, made a loom, got some silk, rebuilt the balloon that I accidentally popped, and we're good to go. Also, I found another cave, so we have all the bright core and copper to get the upgrades. Please, for the love of God, work. Oh no, it doesn't want to work for some reason. Um. Oh, all right. I guess it was that one that was stuck. Great. I heard something. I'm at the top of the map. Yo, and now we're perfectly on course to the village. How can you tell we're home? Don't ask. So yeah, we're right over the base. I kind of overshot it. And now we put down a wall and we will sink everything safely to the ground. I'm the goat. Okay, how deep does my suffering go? Upgrade crafting bench, forest axe, copper and not root. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's where it gets spicy because we have to go all the way out to frost pine to come all the way back for the new pickaxe. All right, I do have to test if you can upgrade your bench, break it, and then just get the upgraded bench back and not have everything get destroyed. Nope, you get all the resources at least, but that's way too much to cart around. Ah, you have arrived safely at your destination. So I made a second axe and the plan is that, yeah, I think it's all working, good. Plan is just get as much pine as possible and we don't have to worry about it for a while. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think about the enemy. So that's just a regular rolling dude. And then there's like a snow wolf up there, but that's all right. And as long as we stay out of trouble, everything should be okay. I don't want to deal. Yeah, I, was, I just don't want to deal with this unnecessary stuff right now. So, pine logs. Is that what this is? Yeah, it's taking a long time to cut down. Oh boy. Yo. My first pinata. Please give me the goods. Oh, yo, we can just dab on it. Awesome. Is it that? Yo, is that a blue crossbow? What? No, it's a green. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. We, we get the strong recurve bow. We get some cheese. Gunpowder, that's always welcome. All right, and pizza, yeah. That's, uh, that's some good stuff. Quick note, you've probably noticed that I'm playing with temperature disabled. Just stack charms until you get to the right amount of tolerance. I'm imagining that once you get on top of the ice mountain, it's going to get freezing and not just cold. However, if you've made it this far, you probably realize that to stack the charms for the desert cave or like charm and food or something. I mean, when you have it set up, it really seems like the flying machine is the best technology if you don't have like a god seed and everything is right next to you. I just break this wall not punch a balloon let it let it lift up you gotta have a little bit of patience and then we're just good to go also we can put on a long uh, you just need a little bit of extra resources it, it, it's not free i think that's kind of interesting the flying machine uses a different kind of fuel and then you can uh just kind of set it up like that and then you just let it turn a little bit and we're on our way up. Yo, even better. The mountain is so high up that we don't even have to put the wall on it. It's just landed. We're good to go. All right, the question is, how hard do we get destroyed with 17 armor? Because I did make this charm. Also get, getting defense, really nice when taking a hit. So I think you just let everything destroy each other and then you can get some uncommon loot like that. They got, they got some health. So this looks to be like a very similar setup compared to the uh, magma cave. And also these guys are kind of a pushover. Now we can still probably find some like really dangerous enemies. And getting hit isn't fun regardless. Oh, there we go. Um, That dude might get scary if we don't have a shield. So let's get our pick. Let's get our better pick. I just kind of see what he's up to. Hey, buddy. All right. Actually, I can just I can just stay hidden behind my shield and dab. Oh, he, he gets staggered by it. That's cool. 
What is this resource? I'm guessing iron, but I saw malachite as a thing. Oh, boy. I... Yeah, that's iron. Cool. I was about to say, I didn't bring two pickaxes, and this is taking a lot. I also didn't do the durability upgrade because I didn't have raw amber. But this is this is where you find iron. Oh man, you need to make like two picks and give them some durability upgrades. That's why I make guides so you know what to be prepared for. Like, comment, subscribe. A Essence of luck, that's right up my alley though. I love luck and money. Any mechanics like good luck charm. Oh, oh, that's hype. Man, these caves are huge. Huge, but at least they're good for getting these dudes. Also, they don't completely one-shot me, which means we. Oh, ne wait, never mind. He did a lot of da damage right there. Oh. Okay, I explored that cave and I ended up in a different cave, and I did not find any malachite. So my suspicion is that malachite is just found naturally in the biome, just like amber. And there we go. Easy peasy. We got some malachite. Uh, kind of don't want to go back in the cave without upgrading things, but I feel like we're going to need a few more resources. Yo, we get a lot of malachite though, which is pretty nice. Wow, there's a ton of malachite up here. It actually is like amber and where you can find a lot of veins and then it just gives more. Okay, that's a bummer because I've been running around and I don't think my flying machine survived. It might make sense. I could see it getting force despawned because it was just like hanging out above where it should have been hovering. Maybe it fell through the map and like despawn respawn when I win the cave. Uh, I, I don't know. Dang, I messed up. I should have come back with five frost shells so I could get the cool headed charm if only for the 10 defense. Also, we have a good luck charm, which yeah, five of each of the rough. That's not bad at all and that that's like that's like the most free one hardy totem we need three brute scales gets easier when we actually have something like the good luck charm so also very doable wow and the luck essence also really easy so essence of durability on the pickaxe i also want to put an essence of luck on the pickaxe, but I didn't grab the rubies because I'm stupid. Fortunately, I didn't cut all of them. So, I mean, yeah, we have tons of rubies and sapphires and we just got a lot of amber. So that's gonna be really nice. Double luck would be pretty interesting for the rollers. I can also just make an extra pickaxe. That way we don't have to worry about running out of resources. Never mind, I'm stupid. I immediately forgot. Never mind, I'm stupid. My brain is fried from playing an insane amount of this game. I had enough rubies. It was the sapphire that were the problem. So doing any amount of luck upgrades is going to hurt that. But that means I can go damage, durability, luck on my axe. Now, the axe is already a little used, but it has seven damage. So that's pretty nice. And then we put durability on it anyways, and then essence of luck, GG easy. All right, I'm feeling stacked for a huge adventure as we go into the end game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.